Picture, if you will, an otherwise ordinary afternoon. You've just had lunch, and now you're walking back home. But as you're walking down the riverside, you fail to notice the banana peel laying out on the ground ahead of you. You slip, and you fall into the water. Now your clothes are wet, and you're desperately trying to pull yourself back to dry land. But then you feel something brush against your leg. Something is circling you in the murky creek water, but you can't see what it is. You begin to panic and struggle quickly to get ashore. You just barely manage to get out and collapse on the ground exhausted. You're relieved to be on dry land again, but what you don't realize is that you very nearly didn't make it. While you were thrashing to get to safety, you were being circled by a sleep by a sleepy sweet fish. <laughs> the, de the deadliest sleepiest little guy in the <laughs> in his hat. <laughs> Welcome back to Feline Like Fishing, where there is a clue in the name. It's right there, can you see it? Fishing! Yes, this is a fishing game. A video game primarily based on the real world activity of catching fish. Now, believe it or not, this isn't actually the first fishing game ever made. It turns out there's actually quite a few out there. We've got Russian fishing, Euro fishing, professional fishing, intergalactic fishing, crazy fishing, adventure, vacation, together, king, amigo, fantastic, kaiju. There's even a cat themed fishing game. Uh, uh, pretend you didn't see that one. So why is video game fishing so popular? Something is drawing people to these games. But why? What's the secret? Well, fishing, uh, real world fishing I mean, is already a pretty video gamey activity as it is. Once you've got a bite, you've got a good challenge of reeling in the fish, and then that's followed by the reward, which is the fish that you've caught. And I think it's these two factors that make fishing games so fun, the challenge and the reward. Now I could talk at length about how feline like fishing deals with the challenge side of things. While other fishing games usually use a quick time event or some sort of pulling struggle mechanic, Feline Like Fishing instead uses a variety of mini games that you can choose from, but that's all stuff for another video. Because in this video we're instead looking at the reward side of things, the fish you're catching. So here's the thing, most fishing games will have you catch real world fish, and I totally get the appeal of that. I grew up playing Animal Crossing Wild World and that's what that game did. And I loved it, but now it's almost 20 years later and we're still catching the same fish. And I just feel it's getting a little old. I'm bored of these fish now. These aren't the fish I want to catch. So uh, what do you catch in feline like fishing? Yes, this game uses its own original fish designs. Weird stuff like the holy mackerel. Urchin underwear, or the laundering loach, who uh, isn't laundering clothes, he's laundering money, like for the mafia. You know, sometimes I look back at my time playing Animal Crossing and I can't help but say, that's a rainbow trout? Seriously? W well, where's the rainbow? What, this? That's a lipstick stain, that's, one color's hardly a rainbow. I can't be the only one wanting a more colorful trout, right? There we go, that's more like it. Far more deserving of the name. Okay, well what about this then? This is a clownfish, apparently. But could you really picture this thing making balloon animals or throwing pies? Yeah, me neither. This one, on the other hand. Yeah, that's a clownfish. Let's do another, look at this. This is a horse mackerel. Yeah, I see the mackerel, but where's the horse? There's no horse in this fish. They should have called it the Mackerel Mackerel. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I can fix it. <laughs> there we go. So much better. <sighs> okay, I think you can see by now how this game works. 
You catch fish that are like real world fish, but redesigned a little, to better match their names. Or, alternatively, we make an entirely new fish by stitching together a real world fish and something that sounds similar. Or we take a normal fish and combine it with something that looks similar, and then we come up with a name afterwards. Oh, and uh, yes, an octopus is a fish. So are clams and eels and squids, and literally anything else, so long as it's in the water. If you, right now, are watching this from the comfort of your bathtub, then you are a fish too. So what else can you catch in this game? Well, there are cinema and literature references. TV and animation references. Music and culture references. Mythology and folklore references. There are some fish with very complicated and interesting designs. And then there are others that are comedically simple. The main thing I'm trying to get across is that there's a lot of variety in this game. There's a really wide range of fish to catch in this game, and you'll always be catching something new. The quality of these fish designs is very important to me. But I'm also dead set on quantity. If you're wondering why you catch 2D images in this game, and not 3D models like other games have, it's because it makes it incredibly easy for me to put new fish in this game. All I have to do is draw a design, put some words in, and then there's something new to catch. And that's pretty manageable for an independent game developer. Not only do I do all of the fish designs myself, but I also do all of the modeling and texturing, as well as the animation and the coding. Everything for this game is done by one person. Well, almost everything. The music for this game is done by Crowpen, a very talented friend of mine. She's made some really fun music that fits perfectly with the game, but she's also very talented in art and animation, like all the stuff you're seeing on screen right now. If you like what you see, she also does take commissions, so she comes highly recommended. So, throughout the course of this video, I have shown you 20 different... Was it 20 or... 19? Uh, okay, fine, we'll do one more, hold on. Surgeon! Dr. Hunt! I am the surgeon! Okay, there we go. In this video, I have shown you 20 unique fish that you can catch in feline-like fishing. And that's only a fraction of the fish that are actually in the game already. As of recording this, the total number of finished fish designs is... 82. There are 82 fish already in the game, and there's still a ton more I want to do. The finished game will likely have around 200 fish? 250? 300 maybe? I don't know. But I do hope that sounds interesting to you, and if it does, maybe you can consider helping to fund development through Patreon or Ko-fi. Ko-fi? Ko-fi? The, it's on screen. If you do support through Patreon, uh, first of all, thank you, but you'll also get to see some exclusive stuff throughout development. And you'll also get to vote on things that go into the game. I recently held a vote to see which area should be added to the game, and the winning one got added. There'll also be opportunities to name certain fish designs. In fact, this is a design I made recently. It's a cross between a mushroom and a squid. But I never found a fitting name for it. So I'm taking name suggestions over at Patreon. Any subscriber at any tier can give me a name suggestion, and I'll pick whichever one I think is most fitting. It can be two words put together, or something overly long and complicated. Or it can even be something stupid and out of nowhere. That's fine too. I'll leave this particular fish design open to new naming suggestions until I've been given one that I think fits nicely. And in the future we'll do this again with other fish designs too. Also, if you have a fun idea for a fish design for this game, the Diamond Tier Patreon subscription will get that fish made. So consider that too if that interests you. And uh, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below which fish design you like the most. And uh, thank you for watching all the way through to the end. Uh, I'm still new to the video editing side of things. This video was a bit of a nightmare to put together. But I'm sure I'll get more used to it over time. So uh, subscribe if you would like to see more.